Hey, yo, this is Dilio coming to you with another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about quantization and swing. Quantization and swing. What is quantization? Quantization is the procedure to where you quantify in the world of FL Studio, where you quantify the attack times or the start times of notes to a specific predetermined grid. Okay, that's quantization. You're taking loose rhythms and you're quantifying them into perfect notes, like half notes and quarter notes. Okay, if, if you want me to do a video talking about what are quarter notes and half notes and 16th notes and 32nd notes, we can do that. Let me know in the comments below. So we're taking raw rhythms and this goes for any platform where you're recording something electronically with music production. It's where we're snapping loose elements into time. And there's also a way to take it out of quantization to provide feel. Swing is what creates a different feel where we have things perfectly quantized and we're just changing the timing of certain things in between perfectly quantized notes. In this video, we're going to break that down. We're going to actually listen for examples by breaking things down to the simplest elements. This is another tutorial for those who are new to FL Studio who are or who haven't used it before and are interesting in learning about its elements and its tools so that you can create music. So if you're already making bangers, if you already got your plaques, this video isn't for you. But if you're someone that's curious about this program, you know, there's no stupid questions at Dilio T2K because everybody has to start from somewhere. Dilio started from somewhere. So that's important. Let's dive right in. Let's quantize. But let's first talk about different ways to do this. Okay, so once again, quantization is the act of taking notes that are kind of flawed in the time or rhythm and making them perfect okay so if I were to go up here and click these notes in and I bring the tempo down to 20 if I bring these notes in and I just click and drag all those notes in we see they show up on the piano roll if I hit play you're hearing all those da -da 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 we call those sync sync notes but in FL Studio we call those steps okay so, and you can paint those in, but remember from the last video, and I'll do a reminder that this magnet determines the grid and determines how notes are painted in there. And this one is also deals with quantization playing in. So let's show you what a step looks like. These are steps. There are 16 steps available in this scenario. You paint them out, you got 16. If I right click to erase all these, or you can hit undo, I click on the magnet and this is the piano roll because in case you wonder where I'm clicking at and I go to one fourth notice we still got fourths there okay let's go to one half let's listen that's different from when we were in one fourth these all falls into beats as you can see, one measure, which is going from zero to one, this is one measure. This is one measure. Typically in music basics, a measure contains four beats. You got one beat here. The dark lines, I know it's kind of hard to see unless you're looking at a computer screen, but there are dark lines here. Those represent beats. So you got four beats. Okay. So you got half of a beat. So now it's being split up in halves. Or I want a beat. Notice that if I just paint in beats and I'm clicking on here, one, two, three, four, okay? But that's just a little bit of basic music theory. So let's talk about quantization, which is what this video was about. So I got my MIDI keyboard. And I can play pretty good on beat, but I can't play perfect. No human can. Okay. 
There's there's no human that plays perfectly on beat. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to none. This is our recording quantization right here. This is our main quantization. And I'm going to set this to step. I'm going to hit record, but before I do that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit notes. Okay, Mitchell's running. I'm just going to play a note melody or just play a rhythm. And I'm not going to play it perfect. It's going to be flawed. Let's listen. And of course, I got to hit record. Let's try it again. See, it doesn't sound like it's. Now that has a feel. There's always an exception to the rule. But we notice how the claps aren't really lining up with the tempo. Okay? So that's not quantized. But if I highlight, go to the tool, hit quantize. This quantize is always going to quantize to the setting that's here or step step in this scenario is equal to a quarter of a beat because each beat is split into four quarters two quarters make a half two halves make a whole simple geometry if i'm accurate on that so i'm going to right click on that quantize notice how everything's now on a perfect grid and when i quantize we're going to listen to that I'm going to make sure I'm on the right setting, step, or even one four, step, quantize. Okay, we're in there. And as you can see, it's not doing it exactly where I want it to go. So I got to pay attention to what I'm doing here. Quantize start times. Look at that. Boom. Each note. <laughs> and I just sometimes you just click around till you get it right. Now, let's keep it real. Hit play. And notice it didn't quite put it where I want, but now that I have that working, now that I have that working, I can move that note over. Now it's sounding perfect. That's quantization in the heartbeat right there. I know it took us seven minutes to get there, but I wanted to give you some background because you got to have context. I know a lot of people like to get their information real fast on YouTube, but it's important that you understand this concept because you can take this concept into any DAW, any music production software that's worth anything. So remember, that's quantization. Let's let's control Z and get out of that again. Or I can't control Z out of there. Same thing. I want to demonstrate it again. No input quantization. Got the thing going. All off beat. Right? Let's highlight all of that. Right click. Quantize start times. Shift Q. Now it's all on beat. Now you can go ahead and add something to it. Just click those in. So now we got that. So now what we're going to talk about is input quantization. And then we're going to get to, to the swing. I know it's, it's coming late in the video. But, so I'm going to add a hi-hat sound. Let me find a good hi-hat. And I'm going to play them in with the MIDI controller. And we're going to do it without input quantization. And then we're going to add it with record input quantization, which is determined right here. So let's check it out. Notice how it sounded kind of not... There's a feel there. You can have a feel there. But if you want it to sound perfect, sometimes that's good. Sometimes you want it to sound perfect. Quantize start times. And now, with a little bit of velocity I got there, we got that. But let's say I want to add some more there. Add some more hi-hats. And I'm going to click step. Okay? I'm going to open up the piano roll there and notice how when I record now, it's going to play back perfectly quantized. It's going to be corrected. My timing will be corrected. Let's check it out. Let's 
Sverige. Notice that as I repeat it, it puts it on the perfect quarter notes because I'm on step or quarter or sixteenth. That's the thing about the language here. One fourth is a is one fourth of a beat. So this beat, each beat is divided into four things. But if you get them all together from the whole measure, it turns into a sixteenth. That's how they know it there. Okay. So now with that being so. We're going to create another pattern. We're going to talk about swing. And I know it's taking us a while to get there. But it's important to get that background. I'm going to swing. Let's check it out. We got. Notice that sounds robotic. Okay. It's just real consistent 16th notes. Now let's listen to what happens when I add swing. Notice how it's kind of skipping. Did it did it. So that swung. So what's happening is, is that there are notes in the grid. And if I could show you, like in a heartbeat, like right here, see these notes being triggered? What happens when you apply swing? I'm going to take the quantization off. When you apply swing, you're moving notes closer to the next one. This is what it looks like. Let's play that. Hear that? That's what swing is, is doing. Okay. So if I play all these back in. And then I add swing. When I turn up this knob over here to the right. And I can add a clap. This is without swing. Notice the note skipping. It's skipping. It's not totally robotically perfect at all times. And I can add a kick drum to that. And I'm making it obvious so you can hear the difference. It's a straight. This is with swing. Now, this is without swing. Use your ears. Use your ears and listen. Here's with swing. Don't pay attention to the volume of the sounds. Pay attention to the timing of the sounds and how they interact with each other in time as the loop is being played over and over again. Okay? So that's swing. So I hope this video helps you. This is quantization and swing. We did a lot more on quantization but swing is a little bit easier thing to talk about runs more faster if you have any questions let me know if you like this kind of content or if you want me to do something on another type of video or on another type of platform let me know in the description below and uh we can we'll crank out some more content just like this all right this is dilio signing out coming to you in another video peace